All right, middle-aged white guy reacts is back again with another reaction video. This time we have a brand new artist, a brand new genre. I think I'm going to say we have a new genre. All right. Um, I don't know. Tom McDonald covers a ton of genres, so maybe this fits in with one of his. Who knows? But anyway, um, this is Falling in Reverse, popular monster. Now, Falling in Reverse has been around for like ever. Right? Like 10, 15 years at least. Something like that. <clears throat> um, and if I remember correctly, they were more of a, a emo sounding band, if that's the proper terminology. Uh, at least that's what we called them in like the 2000 to the 2010. I don't know what they're considered. Um, and I may not even be thinking of the right band. I may not even be thinking of the right band. But I remember Falling in Reverse... They had songs that were were pretty nice back then. Um, I can't remember any of them off the top of my head. Uh, I have vague, vague recollection of the music they've done before, but I I know I know. Okay, like I said, I remember them being kind of emo-y and um, along those lines. So I don't know if that's what they're still like. Um, but I've had a few different people in the comments request um, them and this song in particular. Um, and the way I operate it, you know, if, if one person requests something, you know, okay, I might take a look um, just out of my own curiosity if it piqued my interest, but I, I'm not going to do something for one person. If if two people request the same thing, then okay, I'll, I'll kind of put it on a list and keep my eye out for any more people suggesting that. Once we get into the threes, fours, fives, this isn't a big channel, so that's like a lot of coincidence, you know, stacking up at that point. That's a large sample size for this channel uh, <laughs> in my little tiny neck of the woods here. Um, so, yeah, once I get like three, four, five people saying the same thing, then I'll, I'll pretty much consider it or at least uh, plan to do it at some point. So that's kind of how we got to this point. And um, this isn't like a new, new song from them. I think this is a few years old now, um, but I didn't even know they were still making music. So this should be interesting. I'm excited. Uh, like I said, their music back in the day wasn't really my thing per se, but I enjoyed it uh, from what I can recall. Unless I'm thinking of a completely different band, which is absolutely possible. I could be thinking of somebody completely different than these guys. And you know, maybe I heard them and hated them. I don't know. Anyway, we'll find out. We'll find out one way or the other. Um, and, you know, just after the, the J. Cole reaction, I needed something different to kind of uh, cleanse my palate, so to speak. You know, and, and he blocked that video anyway. So that was a waste of time. But <laughs> you know, and that just makes the decision whether I was going to uh, give him another chance to, to do something good or not um, that much easier. I just won't. I'm not going to waste my time on him. And I don't think... Any of us are going to be missing anything from that because he was just, he was pretty basic if you ask me. Anyway, back into this Falling in Reverse popular monster. Let's go. Oh, my volume's working. Oh. Oh, man, I just started turning up the volume. I was wondering if I wasn't hearing anything because I had it down. Nope, it was up. Great, that's good timing. God damn. Yeah. I wake up every morning with my head up in a daze. I'm not sure if I should <laughs> say this, fuck, I'll say it anyway. Everybody tries to tell me that I'm going to phase i don't know if it's a phase i just want to feel okay yeah okay that that's this is not what i expected him to sound like like i said i remember an emo band maybe i'm wrong maybe they never were um but i remember him with a higher pitched voice i mean it's been like 15 years though that could have been his boy voice and this is now his man voice it just you know naturally deepens over time Maybe it's, you know, a, a complete genre shift for them. Um, but this does not sound like the band I remember. Uh, with that said, these visuals are stunning, disturbing. <laughs> you know, this is a quite the scene going on here in this courtroom. I mean, this entire courtroom's been massacred. 
and he is standing here front and center as the only live person. So obviously, this is the man that did that. You can assume. The evidence suggests. Let's see what he's saying, though. Yeah. I wake up every morning with my head up in a daze. I'm not sure if I should say this, fuck, I'll say it anyway. Everybody tries to tell me that mm. I'm going through a phase. I don't know if it's a phase. I just want to feel okay. Mm. Yeah, All right, so he starts out saying he wakes up in the morning with his head up in a daze. Uh, he just wants to feel okay. Everybody tell, telling him that he's going through a phase. And then, hold on. Tell me that I'm going through a phase. I don't know if it's a phase. I just want to feel okay. He doesn't know if it's a phase. He just wants to feel okay. Whatever this is, this daze that he wakes up in, he just wants it to not be there anymore. That's pretty deep, all right? He's like, I don't know if this is a phase. I just want to feel okay, man. Just, just, I'm telling you what's going on. Just, just help me to feel okay. Tries to tell me that I'm going through a phase. I don't know. Kind of reminds me um, of Hang On. Was it Hang On by Tom McDonald? Um, and I forget what and how he said it in that song. Um, but something about like, you know, people, people offer these platitudes uh, to people who are going through issues with like mental illness or addiction and, and stuff like that. And they tell them, you know, hey, it'll be OK. Don't worry about it. There's light at the end of the tunnel, stuff like that. That I'm getting that same vibe. Like they're they're telling you know everyone is telling him it's just a phase, and he's like I don't know if this is a phase. I just I just want to feel okay, you know. And that's that seems to be a common theme I'm noticing in a lot of songs about either mental health, addiction, stuff like that. Is is the platitudes that um, the people around them give them that they think help, which never really does fuck i'll say it anyway everybody tries to tell me that i'm going through a phase i don't know if it's a phase i just want to feel okay yeah okay yep so it, it is it's mental health yeah like i said it's always been either mental health or addiction one of those two things is this sentiment so we're gonna go mental health is his depression here if it's a phase, I just want to feel okay. Yeah. I battle with depression, but the question still remains. Is this post traumatic stress in or am I suppressing rage? Mm. My doctor tries to tell me that I'm going through a phase. Yeah, it's not a fucking phase. I just want to feel okay. Oh. And there it is. And there it is. And there it is. Even my doctor is even telling me I'm going through a phase. This is not a phase. It's not a phase. Just help me to be okay. You know, it, uh, it's rough, man. He said something else, though. That's what I want. Is this post-traumatic stress or am I just suppressing rage? You know, so like he can't even figure out, like, is it the stuff that he went through that is causing this, that he needs to deal with, you know, whatever the event was that caused post-traumatic stress, or is this even deeper-seated anger issues? Okay, so he's just trying to get to the bottom of it, and everyone's like, yeah, it's a phase, man. It's a phase. This is crazy. All right. But the question still remains. Is this post-traumatic stress in or am I suppressing rage? And my doctor tries to tell me that I'm going through a phase. Yeah, it's not a fucking phase. I just want to feel okay. Okay. Yeah, I struggle with this bullshit every day. Mm. And it's probably because my demons simultaneously rage. Oh. Man. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. This is right up my alley. This is not what I expected them to sound like at all. All right, so he just said, um, hold on, let me hear it one more time. He's going through this bullshit every day. It's probably because his demons simultaneously rage. Um, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything right before that. Yeah, okay, so he struggles with the, the bullshit, the depression, every day while his demons simultaneously rage, okay? So, your demons, they're basically, you know, in, in his state, this depressed state, they're knocking louder, okay? They are more at the forefront um, than on other days, you know? So, like, if he's in a happy state of mind, you know, he could kind of bury those maybe and, and not have to pay attention to his demons. But when he's in this depressed mood, they're raging, trying to get out, trying to influence him 
in whatever way, you know, your demons, whatever they are, could be alcohol, could be, you know, how you handle relationships, um, anger, whatever it is. It's like when he's in a depressed state, he is less in control of these demons that see him in this state and decide that they need to rage. You know, this is their opportunity. He, his defenses are down, go, you know, and that's a common, another common theme in um, like Tom McDonald, NF, um, Hobson to a certain extent, you know, so yeah, th these are all between different people, similar messages. And if, if people actually listened uh, to, to people with these issues, talk about it, we can maybe better figure out how to deal with them. Ooh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, there we go. There they are. There's those goosebumps right there. This is hard. This is fucking hard. Let's go. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow, this guy's voice is fucking amazing. Do you hear this range? Like, oh my god, to start off with this low growl almost. And he could come up, get real smooth and mel melodic, is that the term? Uh, and then hit that high note? Like, this guy is impressive, man. Holy shit. And that um, hook, I have to hear it one more uh, again. We'll comment on it. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to come around again. We'll comment on it the next time around. But he was saying some stuff in that hook, too, that I wanted to talk about. But we'll get there. Monster, I think I'm going nowhere like a rat trapped in a maze. Every wall that I knock down is just a wall that I replace. I'm in a race against myself. I try to keep a... Stuck like a rat in a maze and every wall that he knocks down is just a wall that he replaces. He can't get out of his own head. He can't navigate the maze, all right? And any time he just, tear, he, you know, he can tear a wall down, it's just replaced by another one. And it's just another dead end for him. Like, this is, ugh. Every wall that I knock down is just a wall that I replace. I'm in a race against myself. I try to keep a steady pace. How the fuck will I escape if I never close my case? Oh my god, mm. I keep on stressing every second that I waste. Is another second sooner to a blessing I won't take. But oh, that. Hold on. Stressing every second that I waste. Is another second sooner to a blessing I won't take. Every second that I waste is another second sooner than a to a blessing I won't take. It, it, you know, it, almost like um, when Tom McDonald said he had burnt down a whole cathedral of blessings. You know, it, sometimes you're so deep into depression or addiction or whatever that you don't see the opportunity. You don't see the blessings when they come along and then you just pass them by. Whether it's a personal relationship with, uh, with, a, with somebody um, whether it's a career opportunity, an opportunity to get yourself uh, right mentally or, or deal with an addiction, you know, this is deep. I'm stressing every second that I waste is another second sooner to a blessing I won't take. But my therapist will tell me that I'm going through a stage. Yeah, it's not a fucking stage. I just want to feel okay. Okay, motherfucker, now you got my attention. Mm. I need to change a couple things because something is missing. Oh. Alright, motherfucker, now you got my attention. I got to change a couple of things because something's missing. He already knows. He has work to do. He has work to do on the inside. Let's go. Hold on. Mm. 
It's talking about like, what if I told the lie that you're fine or something like that. What if I were to lie to you and tell you everything is fine? Like, hey, if, if you want me to just lie to you, you know, you're asking me these questions or, or you're supposed to be helping me with this issue. Would you like me to just lie and say I'm fine? You're telling me everything's a stage or a phase. I think that's where he was going with that. And that's, that's pretty nice there. I like that. He's like, okay, you want me to lie and say it's fine, but really every single day I'm closer to the grave, man. I'm breaking. I am absolutely breaking. And, and you know, if something doesn't happen, if I can't feel okay, it's not going to be good. Man! His voice. This man is giving me the goosebumps. His voice is fucking amazing. This song is amazing. That's the part, that's one of the parts I want to talk about. He's a liar, he's a cheater, he's a non-believer. He's a popular monster. So these are the most common monsters in our society. You know, when you say monster, you might think of boogeymen or aliens or animals, wild animals. <clears throat> but we're talking about the monsters that walk with us every day. And it's not necessarily the monsters like, you know, people who enjoy children or murderers and stuff like that. You know, he's talking about just every day, the, the monsters around us every day that are not really looked at as scary. They're not looked at necessarily negatively or as a threat like say the boogeyman would be, <clears throat> you know, these are popular monsters. These are our most common they're with us all around us, and we don't really look twice at them, okay? These are liars, cheaters, non-believers. That's heavy. That's heavy. That reminds me of, um, <clears throat> in the video with the visuals, reminds me, what's that movie with Rowdy Roddy Piper? Oh, when he's kick ass and chew bubble gum? What is that movie? I know you guys know it. What is it? Um, oh, my God. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't, just, just look up Rowdy, Roddy Piper, kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm sure the movie will come up. So. <laughs> I wonder if that's like, you know, in his state of mind, this is what happens with relationships with him. He breaks down, falls into love, or he's breaking down constantly, right? Because he has these mental issues. He falls into love, and then they fall apart. And the cycle just repeats, maybe, is what he's going for there. I'm not quite sure. That's how I'm going to kind of look at it. It's like, you know, because he's not right with himself... He can't have a proper relationship. He'll fall in love and then they break down, fall apart. Maybe. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is so hard. This is so hard. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's heavy. That's heavy. Uh, uh, let me hear it one more time here.
You sick and tired of wondering, praying to a God who you don't believe? Or who he doesn't believe in? So is he saying, like, I'm, I'm sick and tired of wondering if there's something else out there, and I'm just praying to a God who I don't believe in? Or that you don't believe in? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'd have to say he's saying he's he's not believing. He's saying I'm searching for the truth in a lost and found. Now all I have to ask is where the fuck is your God now? Or are they saying that to him? Is that a non-believer saying that to him? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the angle on that. Either he's saying that to us or people are saying that to him. I'm not sure. Mm. Ooh. Oh. oh, oh, man. Wow. It's like 80 degrees in my house, but I have chills right now. This is amazing. That's amazing. That song. That song is absolutely amazing. That was fan-freaking-tastic. The message in the song was great. Like I said, it reminded me of, you know, like an NF or... It doesn't remind me of them, all right? But just people with these similar types of issues, they see it from a very specific angle. And it's common amongst them all. So, I mean, there's something to that that we have to take a look at. All right. Like I said, our platitudes don't do shit. Okay. Stop saying you'll be okay. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Everything's fine. You know, it doesn't help them. It does not help. So that's the, that's the, what I'm taking from this, uh, song, but this song is going on the playlist immediately. Freaking immediately. This was awesome. This was so much better than uh, what I just did yesterday. I'm so happy right now. All right, guys, middle-aged white guy uh, reacts is out. Peace.